You know, you leave this barn tonight, and every night you leave the cows in the barn. Mm -hmm. Go home. They'll be here tomorrow morning, dead or alive. So will the rest of the world. It just thinks it won't. And so when you go home, be at home. When you're at work, be at work. And, and so in the story, you think about your life. So these you things are, let's say, things that you really want to do, whether it's these kind of skills or I guess it doesn't make any difference. It's what you love. And so in a space, you look at the circle and then you start doing some things and you then if all of a sudden something isn't working and it isn't working, well, don't keep doing it. So you know, it's like why kids go to sleep in school. You just get bored. It, it's like something is wrong. So you have to look at, say, if I love it, I don't get tired of it. Another way is don't do it so much you hate it. You can love something and do it so much you hate it forever. Yeah. It's like you have to have space in life. Without space, there's no life. In the, the more industrial world, there's no space. In an indigenous world, there's space. Uh, we are at the Maine Primitive Skills School Day Camp in South Gardner, Maine right now. We are in our third week of programming. Our first two camps were standard camps. This is our higher level. So we have an advanced camp and a bushcraft camp. The idea behind all of our camps is to get kids immersed in the woods, really help them find out what the outdoor world is like and what they've been missing by sitting inside their boxes all day and watching television or playing video games or being glued to their tablets. So our hope is that they find a fantastic way to plug into the earth around them by un- plugging. We spend a lot of time really just incorporating the biggest ideals that we see with nature. Community, really encouraging each other, making fire together, learning about tracking together, learning about plants and trees together, but having a ton of fun. Playing a lot of games where they get to find out the different ways of energy, different ways of finding out how they can use their senses in being outdoors. We really want people to come who truly want to feel connected not only to the earth, but to the people around them and the life that's around them. It means a lot to us that we honor what our teachers have taught us in teaching them. The traditions seem to work. They seem to really embed themselves in them because kids keep coming back. And it's a great place to come. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm the director of adult programs here at the Maine Primitive Skills School. I also oversee the apprenticeship. We get folks from all walks of life who are interested in all aspects of the out of doors. Some of them come because they're seeking adventure. They want to go on a big survival trip. Others just love the idea of wilderness survival skills or tracking or awareness. Some are naturalists who want to understand their natural world better. Or they like to forage or are budding herbalists. We even have people who are so interested in movement in the martial arts that they, they sign up because they want to do our scout class or our Neanderthal gymnastics pieces, but... I'm that way, buddy. <laughs> In each case, the people who come here find a deep connection with something that is real for them, whether it's plants, or throwing sticks, or making a bow, or fleshing out a hide. They get connected to the landscape, and it's a technology they can bring with them wherever they go. It doesn't take long for them to cultivate their own community of skills practitioners. So part of what I love working with adults is that they come here and they make these connections. They just light up like kids again and they feel alive with whatever skill it is. It can be bow making, tracking, wild edibles, but they're present for it and it gets inside of them and changes them. I think that's like the coolest thing.